Social distancing has been tough for a lot of people, especially our elderly friends and family. Health reporter Haley Hernandez explains this long period of isolation is causing more than just mental stress for some. From brightly colored chalk drawings. We draw like hearts and things like that. To a heartfelt song from the driveway. Yay! family from Kingwood uses creative ways to reach out to their homebound neighbors. I think that a lot of the elderly are just really lonely right now, so just to be able to bring them a little bit of joy is, um, that's what we want. The families formed a special bond with neighbors Don and Ronnie Shira. They do bring a lot to, to me and my husband, and you know, we look forward to it when we see them. And with them, they bring um, their youth and their energy and get me going again. While Ronnie and Don have the Darville boys to connect with, many seniors are suffering during these prolonged social distancing measures. In the last six to eight weeks, it's been really, really tough. I've had patients break down in tears on the phone calls. I've had people that had tackled prior addictions to go back to those addictions. Uh, people that they're, they're saying, I just can't stand it. Dr. Carmel Dyer says when seniors are socially isolated for too long, the immune system can decline and brain chemicals are not stimulated like before. Depression is common and it looks different in older adults. An older adult could say, I feel depressed or they may not feel depressed, but instead they want to sleep all the time. They're not eating. Their memory may change sort of suddenly. Three months ago they were fine and now they're very uh, forgetful. They're very scatterbrained. During the COVID, um, I've noticed there's a lot more isolation and overwhelmness of them being you know, afraid because they are a vulnerable population. Okay, how about if you- Experts say even the smallest gestures, like this chalk art, can make a big difference. A few of them have cried and said how it was just like the sweetest thing they've ever seen. It's a wonderful break to my day. So something like this is very simple to do with neighbors or friends, but there's also public organizations that have programs for seniors, like the YMCA. We're putting a link to those up on clicktohouston.com now. I'm health reporter Haley Hernandez, KPRC Channel 2 News.